Most of these buildings around here were owned by the Freemasons. Bro, there's caution tape everywhere. And there's danger signs now appearing. Dude, there's someone's yeah. apartment <laughs> across from us. We just climbed down this. It's a pretty good adrenaline rush. Yeah, tell me about it. We take the right, it leads deeper to hell. Wait, what's on the floor? No way to get this active. Oh, they make chocolate here. This is chocolate for life. <laughs> this would last us for years. Yo, what's going on guys? Hope you guys have been doing well. I just want to say a few things before this video starts. Um, first things first, I hope everyone is safe out there. There's been a lot of lockdowns and travel restrictions and I know the world is going through so much at the moment. But guys, hope you guys stay safe. This video was filmed way before all of that happened. So yeah, I just want to let you guys know that I have not been out filming at all. Just to keep myself safe and everyone else so the more people that stay home, the, the better it will get. So, yeah. Video was never explored recently. Another thing I want to mention is the new merch. If you did not catch yesterday's live stream, we got the new hoodies. We got the official website up right now. It's up and running for you guys to go. And when you go on the website, sign up for the newsletter because you will get a 10% discount code on your first purchase off. Everyone has been taking advantage of it. So make sure you go and do that if you decide to cop the new Wanderers hoodie. It's amazing. But yeah, that's all I had to say. Um, I don't really want to talk much in this intro, but mostly I, I usually update my life on the live stream. So be sure to check me out on live streams every Friday. 10 p.m. GMT time or 6 p.m. Eastern time, but enjoy the video guys. I will see you all at the end Does that belong to you, Matt? No, no, I know nothing. I was never here <laughs> We got Matt from the secret vault. Dark Arts Paranormal. We got Sam and Jess Dark over God, there Excuse me <laughs> <laughs> no, We got Proving Demons Proving Demons, proving demons. Called. No, I'm not called. And we got Forward Fighters I just called um, Andrew, Dark Arts Paranormal. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Exactly the same anyway. Don't worry, I'll call Proving Demons. And we got Proving Demons over here. What? <laughs> Matt, so tell us the history about this place. Like, what was it used for? Everything. Well, apparently, uh, Sam over there tells me it was belonging to the Freemasons, but the lower level was a pub called the Rummer. Rummer Tavern uh -huh. and uh, basically they, they were separated the buildings were actually separated so the way we get in is, is really bizarre do you know the years like when this building like when they got closed down or why probably, it got closed probably down probably about 15 years old 15 years ago I uh, don't know why it was closed down okay but so the building is a bit old looking we're here during the day we want to scope the place out but we're gonna actually wait a few more hours and explore this place at night um, Matt is not going to join us for this one, unfortunately. Um, he has some stuff to do at night. It says here that an earlier guild hall was built for a guild of merchants, Freemasons, Illuminati members, you name it, on the side in the 13th century. The current building, which was designed by this guy named Richard in the Gothic Revival style, it was completed in 1846 and extended to designs by T.S. Pope and J. I don't even know these people but anyway his name is T.S. I guess to accommodate the assize courts in 1867 after judicial activities transferred to the new Bristol Crown Court building in 1993 the guild hall was con then converted into an art gallery This building is incredible. I mean, look at these statues. Unbelievable. <laughs> I 
it's getting dark now, guys. The adventure is about to begin. I want you to all subscribe and hit the notification bell. But most importantly, smash the thumbs up button before this adventure begins. And let's head inside. Can we lock it behind? Yeah, I think he will. Uh, that was a walk in the park. <laughs> At the moment, we're just gonna be checking out the rooms and everything. Of course, we're gonna be saving the best for last. So you wanna stick around until the very end of this video. We're gonna be seeing a lot of cool stuff like we said in the beginning. I've been seeing a lot of empty rooms though, so far. So we just made it all the way back to the first floor. It's now time to head Underground guys, this is where the air raid shelters are, this is where the vaults are. I'm pretty excited for this. Steve. Yeah? Believe me. Bro, there's caution tape everywhere and there's danger signs now appearing as we keep going on deeper and deeper. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry bro. Bro, it's a sketchy room, not gonna lie. Yeah, it's the old power room. Yeah, there's so many circuits. Okay, well, we found a vault right here. It's a smaller one. I was thinking, like, you could hold on to it. <laughs> no, 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 no. You crack your head open. <laughs> <laughs> Most of these buildings around here were owned by the Freemasons. Or yeah, else right. they were gambled a lot, and that's just where the safety deposit boxes were. They obviously yeah. didn't trust the banks. Could have been. Just... Yeah. Probably stored their money here, secretly. So this is like the main vault. Look at that. Actually, you know what? This is my first abandoned bank in the UK. So it's cool to just see how different it is from like America. This elevator shaft was probably used to pull down the money down to these vaults. What? This is huge. Like, they must have been storing so much cash in here, money, jewelry, who knows what they hold. But, man, they made it as if it's like a bunker. They probably did it on purpose just in case earthquakes happen or warfare happen. If this place got bombed, like, everything stored here would just be safe. Alright, guys. I think this would be a pretty good shot for a thumbnail or just a photo in general. Make sure to go follow my Instagram at Steve Rowan. This shot is gonna be dope. Alright, just gotta close it first. Well, no, wait, 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 wait. What? Are you trying to do it? What? No, you nearly locked it in, bro. Dude, it's not moving. You can squeeze it's not it moving. Out. Yeah, it's just... I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Shit. Okay, Andrew, I did. <laughs> when did you go in there? <laughs> All right, now we're gonna take the photo. Andrew, that would have been a good video watching the fire brigade. <laughs> I don't think the fire brigade is cutting through that. I don't know how they do this, but fire brigade. Anyway. We're gonna start heading on to the next building. What do we have to do? We have to go onto the rooftop and jump on another building? We've gotta jump across the roof onto another building. Across the roof. Doesn't sound exactly safe, but okay. I recommend doing the walk of faith. If you believe you'll cross it, just by walking it, you will. You really think that? Yeah, it's a Freemason building. Of course that'll work. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll, we'll try it, guys. <laughs> we can get on the balcony, guys. You said they're in darkness. 
It's pretty crazy how we're in the middle of the city. People walking by us, they have no clue where we are right now. Oh, Alright, there's some little stairway over here. And I think it might lead to the rooftop. There's glass out here, so you want to be careful when you run. Dude, there's someone's yeah. apartment <laughs> across from us. Should we turn off the light? I can't believe that. This is going to be awkward. Look, he's staying, staying on the kitchen. <laughs> well, he's not looking back. Oh, she's looking. I think that's it. Yeah, because last time I did it, and then he ripped the uh, strap. Holy oh, You just got to point the camera at me. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. It's, the, it's the tiles. Yeah, just slide down. Just slide down. Yeah. He's painting. Yeah, looks like he's painting. Alright, thanks, bro. Okay, where is Matt? Right, there's like a little uh, drain here. Okay. You kind of rest your foot on there. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah, then you kind of shimmy yourself down. Just, yeah, if you slide that foot down a bit. Um, the next step is on the other side, isn't it? Yeah, the next step's on the other side. Next step, yeah. That's it, man. How do we get back out? It's, uh, there's like it's, it's a lot easier. few ledges so you can sort of push yourself up. It's great, it's, it's great, yeah. <laughs> we just climbed down this. It was a little bit sketchy. If you get one foot on the, on the gutter, it's yeah, sturdy. Yeah, sometimes I think, like, what the hell do we do? For those of you watching right now, would you be able to do this? Nice. You're almost there. You just drop from here? Yeah, I jumped from there. Yeah, it's safe, man. Yeah, it's sturdy. No, they were just kidding. They were just kidding. They were just kidding. No. <laughs> I don't know about roofs holding for you. Andrew's turn now. Right, what am I doing? Yeah, so if you bring this foot as far down as you can, that's yeah. it, man. Yeah, wicked. And what long legs are coming in handy, bro? <laughs> you got this. And then there's another ledge on and the right. Another, then you can bring the other ledge down here, the other foot. And then take your right arm and put it behind you. The problem is I get, I can't get a good grip on my right leg on that. <coughs> it's not a very good grip, you just gotta have faith. Once you're done, like like you like, said man, just have faith. High, <laughs> Come on Drew, you got this. Yep. Right, and then... And then if you can lower that foot down onto here as far as you can, that's and it. Hold, hold yep. I don't have a grip. Can someone hold my foot? Don't let me slip. Be careful. Yep. That's it, man. You're all good. You're down. Hold on. Watch out, you can slick them. That's alright, he's on my jacket so I can't move. I'm on your jacket? Yeah, yeah. There you are, Sam. It's pretty good adrenaline rush. Yeah, tell me about it. I wish someone was filming me. I was. I film you. On my camera too? It's not recording, is it? Yeah. Alright, let's just go. You can have my clip, bro. Alright. Alright, turn off the light. It's just something about, I just don't like being outdoors doing stuff like this. You can set me down at 100 foot ladder, it's on the ground. <laughs> yeah. It's a different story. I don't know what it is, I just don't like it. Well, looks like I put my camera away. <sighs> what do you guys think of that entrance? Top five entrances. Top, Top five. five. I feel reborn. 
I don't know what it is with abandoned courthouses or courthouses in general, but the way to get inside you tends to have a lot of climbing. I think uh, last summer, the last courthouse I did, we had to scale like a, a lamp post to get into the roof. I remember that, that was in Sheffield. Yeah, that was... 2017, that bro. Dude, that was... What was, the, was that when we first met? Yeah, that was October 2017. Jeez. Oh yeah, I remember, it was like Halloween. Whoa. Okay, that's nice. This is beautiful. You can see some heads on the walls of the ceiling over here. There's a lot of them. Now the reason why they were wearing wigs back then is because a lot of people back in the day were living in rough conditions and their hair would be eaten by bugs, termites, you name it. They pretty much had bad hair. So, if you're working a professional job like in the court, a lawyer, you have to look presentable. So that's why wigs were popular. They had to buy a wig because of their dirty hair. Woo! And we just walked into the courtroom. So what's this, the British seal? Yeah. Can you guys translate this for us? Dayu et mon droits. And let me know if I pronounced that correctly. I highly doubt it, but I tried. So where are you taking us now? Underground. Is there, is there more courtrooms like that? Not as good as that, no. Oh. It's on a safe and there's a key. I wonder if we can use it. Ah, oh, it doesn't even fit. Uh, and that's definitely sealed to the ground, so... Let's do this. So this is where the adventure begins. Guys, if you've been enjoying this video so far, make sure to hit that thumbs up and share the video now because what we're about to see down here is gonna be amazing. Okay, let's go in. Oh, it's kinda narrow. I've been seeing N95 masks here everywhere. This is what they use for the coronavirus. It's supposed to protect you from 95% of bacteria or dust. Damn, what happened here? Did you spot the cells? Sorry? Cells are on east, either side. These are cells? Yeah, on that side and the same on the other side as well. Wow, these look like showers. <laughs> no way. Someone was digging something here. So, yo, some prisoner was definitely trying to escape their cell. I can't believe that. Doesn't look like it leads anywhere though. I can see a little bit of water down there. And here's the other side. These were also shale cells. I bet someone put a chair there for a photo. Yeah, they all look the same. In case you're wondering where these rubble is coming from, I have no clue. Because if you look at the surroundings, the ceiling's fine, the walls are okay. So I have no idea how they put this here. Oh, 
Where's the helmet? We're under the city, the secret tunnels. These are the secret tunnels? Yeah. How can they look to the court? Just to like play, uh, transfer the prisoners? Yeah, origi originally, the uh, prisoners would have come down and they would have gone to a jailhouse probably. Right. Or if there was like a high case profile, so for example, a murderer, they would bring him down here to uh, defend him against being assassinated. So they would ah. bring him down here and take him out at a, a safe spot, put him in a truck, get him away. Right. So we went into the tour of the market, there's hundreds and hundreds of people down here when the war was going on. Pretty much most of Bristol were in these cavern systems in the city centre. Or, and in the other ones, they've got all the big cauldrons where they're cooking up the food and all that sort really? of stuff. Really? Yeah, yeah. Well, bring it here, bring it out. Dude, there's power. There's light. No way. The yeah. It works in there. Yeah, but is it supposed to be on right now? It's up to the Coast is clear. The power switches. People be chilling down here. I think people do come here. Want to know why? Because you can see a lot of these alcohol bottles. There's people come here just drink. Wait, what's that on the floor? It's been a while since I've seen one of these things. Dudes! a satanic ritual. Maybe people come here and practice rituals. You never know. It's definitely graffitied up. I don't think it's workers that come down here. I think it's like people that actually come explore. Is, uh, oh, for, this is for the clubs. Rave, yeah. That's the name of it. It's weird how this is Friday, 4th of cool. February. That's the, uh, that's the club. Oh, oh UK. Timbuktu. 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 Oh, okay. Here's another date, Wednesday, 17th November. Does anyone know Raka featuring DJ Babu? Let's, let's see who's, who played here before. I want you guys to, if you notice any artist, leave a comment down below. It's like a security guard. Oh crap. So it's a new recording. You said yes. Let me see this. Looks like security is outside. Yeah. But it's for another building, it's not for this one. Yo, know, that lady just stared through here. Wait, shine a light, it looks like an outhouse. What's Ooh. in there? There's a gate. Have a look, man. Yeah, it looks like a jail cell. You can feel like a cold breeze. Yeah. I can smell it. it smells like we take the right, it leads deeper to hell. All right, who likes it deep? I like it deep. Well, oh, okay. Like well, Dan. <laughs> I mean, you, you watch my live stream. You see how well, like, Yeah, Dan does like it deep. Do you want to do it, it makes me curious. What's through here? Yo, there used to be a first shield emergency kit right here. What's this machine? Hey, we can get through here. This looks like a jail cell. Right. right. Yeah. Here, here. But why would they want to close it off? Under a Let's go and find out. It's open. It's open, boys. And yes. Go deeper. The ground. There's power running through it. This door looks really new. It does look really new. Let's go underground more. I turned it on. Did you do that? Yeah, I turned it on. By the way, guys, be careful with those rat traps. What, really? Oh, yeah. Right I want to see it. Wow. Yeah. What's this? So that's wine cellar. Why are they building on me? Bro, why is there food right there? <laughs> uh oh. I'm just curious to see what's above ground. What is that? What is in there? That's so loud. What? Is that door heavy? Oh, something blocking the way. Bro. Oh, tunnels. 
This is so modern though. Dude, this is active. This is definitely active, bro. No way, bro. This is active. No There's no way we've gone from the ground to the ground. Yeah, it's that That's all the difference. Yes, it is. Dude, it's freaking clean. Yeah, it stinks of chocolate. Yeah, but it's not like chocolate. <laughs> Well, they make chocolate here. It smells like chocolate. They make chocolate down here, but I, w I don't think I would ever eat their chocolate. With all the rats. Yeah, with all the rats. Is that powder? Chocolate. So all these boxes are filled with chocolate. Dude, right? This is Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. Yo, Dan, we're underneath Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. Oh my god. Bro, oh, this is this is chocolate for life. <laughs> this would last us for years. Sprinkle chocolate. They've left some treats out for us. You think? <laughs> no, I don't. I'm, I'm pretty sure they weren't imagining people to come for an underground tunnel. <laughs> it's a good place. Dude, I don't know why they wouldn't expect that. I mean, we just. The abandoned underground tunnel is literally just next door to it. What's down there? Just, just have a little room filled with boxes. There's no graffiti at all, so no one comes here. No! <laughs> oh, bro, no one comes here. This is a, an active business. Bro, we probably shouldn't be here. Yeah, let's, let's get out. No. This is the main gate for the vehicles in the courthouse. What are you looking for? Oh, I've changed it. But there's people looking. Yeah, we, we can fit through there, yeah. Stay safe, guys. Yeah, yeah. all right. And mate. Where are we? We're on the other side of the building. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait, this is not America. <laughs> What the? Well, boys, another mission completed <laughs> on this road trip. <sighs> Always, always with the crew. We got the job done. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. I'm just glad that, uh, yeah, an easy way out yet again. It always seems to be like that during explorations. You always go in the hard way and then all of a sudden you find an easy way out. But yeah, our two other friends, uh, Jess and Sam, they left stuff in the main hall, so they had to go back the other way. Because the way we came through, we locked the door so no one could get in, so no one could get in while we were exploring. So we're just gonna meet them at the car. Hold on. All right, guys, thank you so much for making it this far to the end of the video. I did not make my outro, but I hope you guys did enjoy this exploration today. Um, one of the most unique places I've ever been to that belonged to the Freemasons. Illuminati, whichever you want to call them. And just a quick reminder to cop the new hoodies, guys. Check out the brand new website. I also want to say a big shout out to my web developer, Dagan, for helping me out. If you're looking for a website to be built, I highly recommend you go check out this guy. His this, his information is down in the description below. And yeah, he's great. Other than that, I'm back on the grind. I got my external hard drive back and we have a few more explorations to go. These videos will be dropping every single week, um, Saturday, 6 p.m. Eastern time. So be on the lookout and yeah, stay tuned for more adventures. I'll see you all next time. Peace.